Hey, it's Jen and Janine, and we are here at Mila in Tyson's Corner, and we're really excited to showcase their showroom and what they have to offer to a lot of our customers and as well as a lot of people in the community. And what else are we doing today? We are making the Thanksgiving dinner, and by making, I mean we are watching a Thanksgiving dinner be made and enjoying the whole process and the end of the product. So stay tuned. So everybody's favorite dessert is usually bread pudding. And at Thanksgiving, we can do bread pudding with pumpkin um, instead of pumpkin pie. And again, timing is everything. You can put these, you can put this bread pudding in individual ramekins or you could put it in a baking pan. Um, I like individual ramekins if you're not having hundreds of people over because it's it makes a really beautiful presentation. So cute. Yeah. And we start with challah bread. And we will finish with a caramel sauce. Mm. So why first, pick, may I start? First? Yes. Why do you pick challah bread? Um, I like challah bread because it's a little tiny bit sweeter than okay. than like a French loaf. Okay. So it already has mm. some some uh, sweetness to mm -hmm. it, yeah. and I just like the way it looks. It's beautiful. Yeah, you know, it's got a um, nice yeah. uh, crispy edge. Mm -hmm. um, it's just my favorite thing. You can use a French loaf okay. if you wanted to. Great. Um, okay. Use something else. <laughs> We're going to start with our dry ingredients. Cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and ground cloves. And again, all the um, measurements are on the uh, recipe. This, oh, I'm going to save that. And we're going to put this, just going to kind of combine them. And put this into the mixture of four whole eggs and two egg yolks. Oh, okay. And you're going to add a, Oh, I, I just I, got a whiff. That was so but wonderful. I'm just gonna tell you, I've never made bread pudding. No? No. Oh, well, bread pudding is all about the eggs, the cream, and the milk. Oh, well. You get that right. Thing, so. You could add chocolate to this. Mm. Um, like chocolate chips? Chocolate chips. Oh, you, could you could do on the add induction. banana instead of pumpkin. Um, you could do a chocolate sauce instead of mm. caramel. This is. A quarter cup of, I mean, excuse me, a half a cup of light brown sugar, and you know what brown sugar is, it's just sugar yep. with molasses. Mm -hmm. A half a cup of regular sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Bring on that molasses. Yeah. I love brown sugar. I do too. I really, it's just, uh, mm. just melt it. Mm -hmm. it's delicious. And you just have to keep okay. combining all the flavors together, all the ingredients. And to this, we are going to add our vanilla. And this is one and a half cups of heavy cream and one cup of milk. Okay. Do you any percentage of milk you prefer for this to work? I always or? use whole milk if whole I'm milk. if I'm mm -hmm. um, baking sure. or making ice cream. It's, oh, it's much better than. Yeah. I mean, unless you can't have whole milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. In which case you can't have cream. <laughs> yeah, right. Good point. <laughs> oh, wow. And to this, we add our pumpkin. And this is what makes the it pumpkin puree. Pumpkin puree. Okay. And I, I know some um, people who actually buy whole pumpkins, roast them, and make their own pumpkin puree. And I think that's a real waste of time. I was going to ask you, do you see a difference? I, 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 there are I two don't, camps on that. I, yeah. I don't see a difference. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, again, I'm Boom, in, done. Yeah, yeah uh, I'm it's, into it's the short, I'm into shortcuts, mm -hmm. and I, I just don't think cooking and baking should be that big of a chore. But if you know what, if you love doing it, yeah. and you taste a difference, then for <laughs> just go for it. I feel like that okay. would be better saved the, um, for a time when that was the only thing you were doing. Right. Yep. Yeah. The trick to a good bread pudding oh. is to make sure that all of your flavors or your banana or your pumpkin or whatever you're going to pour over your bread cubes is combined really well. So the longer okay. you take Incorporating so all, the all these ingredients, yeah, you you want everything okay. to 
to meld into a nice sauce, basically. Mm. There's the garlic smell now coming from the speed oven and the root Is vegetables. Is it? <laughs> so good. The turkey that we've been smelling doing here. I'm, I'm very jealous of anybody watching this. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna, I'm sorry, they should be jealous of us. Now we're gonna pour this on top of the bread cubes and we're gonna allow these bread cubes to soak it up for about 10 minutes. Okay. Again, you make sure that all the bread cubes are covered with I think this is happening this Thanksgiving for my family. I think so. Oh, really you're gonna do. love this. And it's not hard, it really isn't. You saw how easy. The, the most important thing is to make sure that all your ingredients have been measured out and they're right there on the counter for you mm -hmm. and you don't, you're not looking for this and you're not reading the recipe and you, right. you see what you have and you know what has to go where. What are your thoughts on room temperature eggs? and room temperature, like milk. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of these, right? I don't know about room temperature milk. milk I know eggs. a lot of people that leave yeah. their eggs out. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, in England, everybody leaves their eggs out in baskets. Yeah, a lot, do, of, right? lot of my British friends think yeah. that that's perfectly fine. I, I err on the side of caution. Okay. So, or... So yeah. do you bring them out though to let them come to room temperature? No, not recipe? necessarily. Not, not, not necessarily, concern. but... Okay. Again, there's a million thoughts on that. Right. I just don't ever want to give any of my guests salmonella. So well, you don't. <laughs> that, is, that is really thoughtful. <laughs> Absolutely. So while that is okay. basically marinating, <laughs> we are going to check our root vegetables. I'm going to go ahead and say, like, while I'm still keep talking, um, I'm betting that that means that great. That um, bread pudding tastes even a little bit more delicious. Like. Do you know what I mean? If you've got a little leftover and you don't eat your entire ramekin, I bet it's even more delicious and warmed The up. next morning, morning, warmed up? For breakfast. Oh, I'm sure it's it, going to be It really, <laughs> I don't think I've ever had bread pudding, honestly. You've never had bread no, pudding? No, I don't think oh, I it's have. My, it's my absolute favorite dessert. And now I realize if it's, it's on a menu. It's kind of like French toast. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and I would like that. It's pretty yes. much French toast. Oh, yeah, okay. so but, let's, um, okay. the next thing we're going to do while the root vegetables are still crisping up is I'm going to take the turkey out of the oven and let it rest. Okay. Okay. Preparing some of our dessert over there. I'm gonna go ahead and take out these beautiful roasted vegetables. Mm, gorgeous. You can see the steam coming off there and there's some boiling on the end there. i just go ahead and put these down. And you can see she chose tons of different colors. So it came out just so beautiful really and it's gonna beautiful. be really, really nice on that table. Gorgeous. Okay, so you want to fill your ramekins, and again, like I said before, this could be done in a casserole or a baking uh, pan. Once you've filled them, because we're not pouring the whole thing into a baking pan, they're generous. You want to make sure that you go back and take some of the liquid and 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 cover cover each ramekin with enough of the liquid soap because this is what's going to set. That's got the eggs and the cream. So what we want to do is I'm going to introduce a new oven right now. Um, not new to Mila, but new to the rest of the world. This is our combi steam oven. Our combi steam oven is an absolutely wonderful oven. What it is is it's a steam oven, okay, and an oven. So just like the speed oven was a microwave oven and an oven, this is a convection oven and a steamer. You can do hard boiled eggs in here. You can do pasta in here. You can do um, so many different things. You can can, you can sanitize your cookware. And as you're talking about reheating, you can reheat with moisture. So yeah, so it like- these moist, of Right. Yeah. So when you reheat like um, fried rice, for instance, you take that out of the refrigerator, it's dehydrated, it's lost all its moisture. You put it in here, let it reheat for five minutes, so it's gonna be like brand new. So what I did with this is I'm using one of our operating modes called convection, the combi steam, excuse me. And what the combi steam do it, is doing is it's baking right now, 350 degrees with convection, but I also added 15% steam to make it moist. So your foods are not gonna dry out. Um, you have to be very careful though, if you do something like adding too much moisture to your cakes and you don't have a deep enough pan, you're gonna have lava overflow. So this is one of my favorite ovens because you can basically do a lot of the things that you would do on a cooktop, such as pasta, and not have to babysit it. 
So I really, really like this, and we're gonna go ahead and let this set for about a half hour. On the recipe, what we do have um, is that it's gonna cook for about 45 minutes, and that would be in a larger pan. But because this is separate, we're just doing the ramekins, and you can do this yourself. It's gonna be about 30 minutes, and we'll be done. So would you recommend when you cook these, for example, you said you, these could sit for a while, but in your timing of your day, if you're talking about Thanksgiving and all of your timings, when would you put these in? Would you take your turkey out to let it rest and maybe put these in? And You can make these ahead of time oh, okay. and keep them in your refrigerator. Ooh, even oh, even better. Goodness. And yeah. then all you have to do is yeah. take them out while everybody's eating, okay. pop them in the oven. Because the one thing with okay. bread pudding, it really does taste better warm. Okay. Oh, and you also okay. have the warming door. So we could just add yeah. these to our leeks. We could take out our, yeah, we could take out the leeks for dinner and, and okay. put the other one in. So, um, our pumpkin bread pudding is all set to go. You can see how beautiful it looks. We're gonna go ahead and let Crystal dress this for us with some salted caramel and some pecans. And this is nice and hot. That looks amazing. It smells amazing. amazing. So this is going to make another beautiful presentation at Thanksgiving. And again, you can put this in very last minute as your guests are almost finished with dinner, actually. And you can coat, you can put whipped cream on it, but I find if you put whipped cream on something warm, it runs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is just, and we have a recipe for making your own caramel sauce, but that's not necessary if you you know especially during a big, big dinner party right so i would say use smuckers has a very nice caramel sauce take your spoon bring it up and then drizzle okay this takes a little time be patient don't glop it on a little goes a long way a little goes a long way because it's already sweet but salted caramel i mean you put salted caramel, the best place to put salted caramel is on a really creamy rice pudding. Um, that's what they do in France. And um, it's just amazing. I'm sure they make their own salted caramel sauce. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just have a late night spoonful of sure. fridge. I mean, just like some people might use that. Okay, and these are just little chopped pecans. Again, a little goes a long way. And it's a nice alternative to pumpkin pie mm -hmm. because we all have pumpkin pie or pecan pie and now you've got pumpkins and pecans. Mm 